Well, folks, you might want to hide your chihuahuas. I'm just saying. Coming at you with another UFO video. Today, we got a bunch of these UFO videos. Like this video, share this video. And some of these videos are going to be something that you have never seen before. And this first video is a very, very famous turkey incident where you do see uh, an alien being or some being actually piloting this craft. And this one is very, very intriguing because they try to debunk it a lot but they couldn't really debunk it and you will find out why uh, we got a bunch of these clips uh roll it into the unknown wait for it in 2008 citizens in turkey reportedly captured a giant ufo flying overhead in kumbergas and one of them even managed to capture a closer look here's what they got and it was really, really far away. You can see, well, like, the moon well, hitting it. That's a UFO for sure. Now, of course, like most UFO sightings, this one had to be blurry. But yeah. we can easily make out the hull of that UFO. A little zoomed in, and you can even see the interior lit up. Although we Man. can't tell what's inside, it's pretty easy to tell there's something. And that explains why it's... And you kind of, like, see this right here. Look at that, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can just slightly make out the eyes, but, you know, from a watch, looking from different angle, it doesn't look like an eye, but it does look like a head, for sure. It's like, and they try to also uh, do, like, night vision goggle kind of effect on it, so we see better. I, I hope he has done it. Sped out of view. Or we have that in this video. Ah, Floating we obelisk. Hide your kids, boys. Hide your wives. If you don't have All a right, wife, try if you don't have a wife, go get a wife and then hide her after that. to explain this one, because I've been scratching my head for a while here. This peculiar object was seen floating over the skies in New Zealand, and it's certainly bringing out a few conspiracy theories. Some say it could be a secret aircraft made by the government that is yet to be released. Others believe it's a giant drone, but sometimes things just don't have an explanation. It looks like a man just flying, alright? <clears throat> this could be one of the few instances where you're seeing a glitch in the Matrix. Yeah. Glitch in the Matrix, Aliens oh boy. and Flight 370. Holy crap, In this 2014, one? Malaysian Airlines Flight 370. Yeah, there has been so many conspiracies about this one. Like, uh, I'm sure you heard of it or maybe even watched those videos. Okay, this one is fairly interesting and uh, I don't think we ever got to the conclusion right now, like the conspiracy is that it was overtaken by the UFOs. <laughs> Right, that the UFOs were around this thing, but nah, I don't, I don't know about that one, man. Like, he set off to Beijing, but disappeared without a trace before it could complete its journey. A decade later, its mystery still stands, with a search spanning years finally coming to an end. But this crazy footage is giving us an idea no one had even imagined. Yeah, this is the alleged Flight 370. And during its flight, it seemed to have encountered a bunch of flying orbs weirdly zooming over its tail. Yeah. The plane continues its flight as if unaware of its fate. Do you believe the story? One if yes, two if not. The reason I am having a hard time believe the story is because, like, this foot footage was not released all the way back in 2014, not even 2015. This is something that I heard of and a lot of people were talking about this exact footage just a couple of months ago. So I, I, I'm just like, okay, so 10 years later, like uh, how, where did, where did this footage come from? Who released it? Uh, I don't have those answers, but if those answers are really out there, like I would love to know. And after that, I might have a different opinion on it. Maybe like this was definitely, maybe this was released by the government. Maybe uh, this footage is released by the government. If that's the case, then okay. But then we have the other side, like the government, why is the government releasing it? The government always lies. Do not believe the government. All that crap that we... You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know about this one, though. Like, and just as it reaches for the clouds, a sudden zap, and it's gone. Many believe this could be proof that the entire flight was abducted by aliens. Okay, it, let's, okay, uh, um, yeah, I'm pausing a little bit too much, but I, I got a point here, okay? Uh, okay, let's just say this is real, and it really did teleport. They actually found the flaps of this, uh... This plane, I believe, somewhere in Africa or Madagascar. Could be wrong on the location, but, you know, I was actually watching videos on it. And they did find, uh, like, a flap, like, part of the wing of this flight, exactly. And they confirmed it later on as well. So, you're saying that uh, it got teleported as is, and then you find, like, the flap. Or maybe, I mean, if they want to say that, well, you know what, the UFO kind of hit the wing, and then that thing 
just fell and later on they found that maybe i mean i don't well, believe that but it's certainly a scary theory <sighs> dusting Podcast. the air look oh that's look, harry it's potter just floating nimbus like, seriously Nimbus Check it out. Looks like someone forgot to tell this broom about gravity. <laughs> All right, now jokes aside, how is this even possible? I mean, technically, it's possible if the wind carried the broom high enough for it to get stuck in an air current. But there's one teeny tiny reason why this might not be the case. Yeah. You see, it's pretty cloudy, but nothing else is rustling around. Not a single leaf moving. Hey, there's no wire. There's nothing it's connected to. It's so the wind doesn't really seem to be acting out as it should. Maybe it got carried away earlier and is just spending its time in limbo, stuck between dimensions. Yeah, no movement. Crazy. Pong. And guys, before we jump into the next clip, I real, real quick want to say I started a brand new channel. This is where we talk about money, finances, investing, forex trading, and I also talk about YouTube earnings. If you're somebody that want to make content, make a living with it as well, uh, definitely check out this channel because in this economy, I feel like that everybody deserves to do better and everybody can do better if you want want to see a, a more content different style though definitely check it out uh, also if you want to help support this channel consider becoming a member by clicking the join button all right let's get back to the content here Boo -boo. in the sky Hold on. floating right yeah the i remember seeing all this right. and that what is impossible. type of sorcery is this it's clear the branch broke off due to whatever reason. Okay, the last one was Nimbus 2001. This is like Nimbus uh, 1700. <laughs> but that's not even the focus here. How on earth is it staying afloat? Now the obvious answer might be the wind. It could have gotten stuck in a cross breeze, but yeah, no wires behind up. it. Wires? Any wires? Y'all got any wow. wires? Not a single leaf is swaying as hard as this one. So the wind might not be the culprit here. Maybe it's time we start believing whatever J.K. Rowling wrote about. It might not have been that far off from the truth. Mm. Yeah. 90 uh -oh. degree plight. You know things are getting crazy when pilots are revealing weird and unexplainable events. Like this video, where you can clearly see something cube-shaped flying across the plane. The pilot initially believed it was just a mylar balloon that had gotten trapped in air currents. But with the altitude he was touching, that's not possible. <laughs> when the video made it online, a few argued it could be some sort of an aircraft developed secretly by the government. It might have been accidentally captured during a test run. Or what if, Pink. or what if the alien was on a picnic, right? Or maybe like he was just on a drive, you know, just like how you sometimes want to drive a little bit around the block so you can get uh, lower down your stress levels. I do that in GTA sometimes, you know, like play GTA for a little bit, drive around the car, fly a plane, and you can lower down your stress levels for absolutely free, Bruh. right? So what if the alien was like, uh, let me just take my my craft around, let's uh, let's uh, see this place a little bit, right? Did let's see what dist. humans up to, you know? Let's see, let's see who humans gonna blow up next, so yeah, maybe that's what it is. Maybe they, they just wanted to see, like, what we are up to, Check right? out this colorful UFO, seen somewhere in the United States. And it's certainly a looker. The Where UFO the had a distinct ring, but you can make out something like a cube in its core. I wonder if that's the alien version of the cockpit. Maybe yeah. there's something sinister behind the wheel. The UFO broke into flashing lights a few Rainbow times, aliens? which could be its way of communicating or signaling to similar aircrafts in the region, and it even seemed to settle down after its flight. Yo. Okay, my left ear is all, all of a sudden my left ear started to enjoy or enjoy that video a little bit, guys. But let's yeah. talk about why the government hasn't addressed this sighting yet. Oh, man. Probably because it might be involved and doesn't want us to know. Kenya Express. <laughs> Holy crap! This bright object was captured in Kenya, and initially I thought it was one of those skydivers who uses flares to stand out, but something about its trajectory makes me think otherwise. It's also not a meteor because well, we'd hear about that on the news. So what could it be? Okay, I, sh I think shooting is Some not a smart idea. it's part idea. of a burning fuselage. 
but... Yeah, shooting it is not a smart idea, that's gonna cause even more, you know? That still wouldn't explain its movements. Others joked it was a Super Saiyan. And honestly, I'd take that over some of the other theories. RPG! RPG! <laughs> Fire an RPG on added! Yo, I wonder, right? Like, if anybody, like, has ever uh, fired an RPG at, at the UFO. Bruh. Yo, that would be like a crazy Mr. Beast video, right? Firing an RPG at, <laughs> at a UFO. You imagine he makes a video. That would be insane. That would be crazy. Uh, I, I suppose the military might have, right? I, I don't know why. Like, why did I think about that? You know what I'm saying? Like, guys, now, gotta be friendly. If you see an alien in your backyard, just just pet the alien. Just be like, hey, what, what you doing, boo boo? What you doing? Because you don't want to be, you don't want to like like do this, right? Because if you do this at the alien, what if he turns around, brings up, pulls up his uh, uh ray gun, and then it's like Joe over after that? You don't want to be. There are certain things that you do not want to f around with. The more you f around, the more you find out, and this is one of those things that you do not want to find out, guys. Like the video for pro tips, sir. Pro tips, guys. Who would have expected to see an entire UFO fleet casually passing by? This happened just a few weeks ago in Florida, and it's naturally freaking people out. Although it has been met with a fair share of disbelief. Most people believe this is just CGI, or some clever editing. Yeah, because it certainly looks like if it's real, then it's definitely gonna fall in Ill illegal street racing or street UFO racing, rather. The reason? Well, we've barely- Or, or air UFO racing, my seen yes. one UFO this clear, but multiple? Now that would naturally bring some doubt. Plus, if it did happen for real, wouldn't that make the news? But at the same time, yeah. we've seen evidence of alien life. Now haven't we? Could it really be a fleet of alien visitors? What? What is going on? Yeah, hard to believe day. it. Hard well, to would you it. look at that? This UFO took flight somewhere in Russia and managed to make it to the internet. Of course, being uploaded on a platform like that, it did receive a lot of attention. Hmm. At first, most skeptical folks chalked it up to a drone that had been poorly designed to look like a UFO. It, holy but the crap. more it took flight, the clearer it became that whatever this was, it didn't have any noticeable features like a whirring pair of blades or anything that would make it a man-made gadget. Yeah, 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 yeah. It also yeah, yeah. flew a bit too close to the ground, prompting many to wonder if the UFO. Yeah, it has like a crazy shape too when it turns around and shows the booty. Yeah, when you see the the rear end, it's like it has an insane shape. Fo had been damaged by something and was struggling to keep itself afloat. Russian invader. Oh my god. Imagine how unusual the sight has to be to freak out the Russians. Yeah. This was captured by a couple of neighbors hanging out in their backyards. And let's just say, it stumped a few of them. Not good, not good. Sick up blip. What began as a flare turned into an elaborate display of smoke and something white breaking the Russian airspace. It took a few seconds for whatever the mysterious object was to open up its arms but it seemed to want to engulf the houses below. The group of neighbors did say they thought it was a UFO trying to signal other crafts in the area, but that's been shot down. Well, if the Russians were panicking this much, then what about the rest of the world, bro? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if the Russians panic, I panic, bro. I don't know what this is, but perhaps you do. Uh-oh. Angular flight. Angler flight. Okay. What do we got? So, uh, so you have a like, tourist in China captured clouds? something strange behind the clouds. Just the silhouette of something triangular, like a giant Dorito. But of course, it's not that. The triangular object was clearly stalking the area silently, like some type of predator. Or, as the tourist believes, a type of spyware that might have been sent by neighboring enemies. Hmm. Yeah. There I are, mean, of course. I mean, we have like conspiracies and uh, reports that the U.S. has uh, made their own TR-3B, aka this triangle shaped UFO, uh, as well. They have reverse engineered the, a real UFO and they made their own, uh, their own UFO ride. And, and there are uh, conflicting reports. Obviously, nobody knows whether that's real or not, but that's what we hear. Uh, if you want to believe Dr. Stephen Greer, he also does say a lot of the UFOs that you see flying in the air are actually 
man-made and they are made by the government by reverse engineering the real craft it doesn't mean that they are fake it just means that it, a lot of them are ours and it's like you do not know which one is ours and which one isn't uh, obviously if you want to believe uh what they say right you, nobody knows what's the truth honestly uh, and even if they come out tomorrow and tell us it's like do you really want to believe it i mean i would not uh i would i wouldn't want to believe everything they say I, I would surely love to hear it but it's like Y yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like of course, some who believe this UFO could be the creation of the Chinese government itself, meant to carefully record whatever is going on below without having to make itself obvious. And then when you start talking about like all this crap, then obviously you bring up the <laughs> the elephant in the room, uh, right? Which being the the Project Blue Beam as well. Yeah, you guys think that they really were able to successfully re uh, reverse engineer the act the the real alien UFOs, and now they're just testing it, and they're just trying to fly these things around, see how fast they go, or how it is, how the experience is like, and at the same time test it on humans as well and see like what's the reaction like and, or, or, or and, and potentially even get people kind of like ready for what's to come next and get just or or desensitize because let's be real a lot of people are desensitized i i when i began first watching the ufo videos i would be like holy crap holy crap obviously i bring up that talk here and there in videos but it's like you know we've seen so many ufo videos now it's like yeah cool you know oh that look cute yeah you know what if you see an alien don't shoot it because they might shoot back. You know, we bring in those kind of jokes. Uh, but when I first began watching these videos, it was not like this. It was like, that, that looking real. And, and sometimes uh, scary even, right? But now it's like, uh, you know, normal. Just another day <laughs> seeing the UFOs in the sky. You know, it's, it's getting to that point. Movies, shows, uh, and actual... Uh, and these videos on the internet have desensitized everybody. And it feels like that they're just getting ready to do something in the future. Or potentially even reveal the truth i hope i want to i want to hear the truth but you cannot handle the truth you cannot handle the truth they always say you cannot handle the truth but i mean damn man let us know bro thoughts over the horizon oh crap yeah what this is that sad. anybody tell me what that is a boater noticed a fleet of bright lights casually flying over the north carolina coast in the u.s and although you'd be quick to debunk this as a group of flares might I suggest holding off, because this could be something mysterious. We're in the middle of the ocean, on a ferry. Since the orbs were flying over the coast for a while, and were pretty far off from the shore, it can't be just flares. They wouldn't last that long. It's also not some majestic airplane fleet. So why would it be flying so low? And wouldn't it be easy to prove? Yeah. Well, who knows? Yeah, that's what I like. To. Philippines that's what she's demise. Like. That's what she like. Yo. Yeah, this in the sight is so unusual. It became the talk of the town. Residents of the Philippines gathered to watch this spectacle as something weird and billowy emerged from the clouds, just like smoke coming out of a chimney. Initially, you'd think it's just another cloud, but since when do they move like that? Yay! Project Bluebeam! That's Project Bluebeam! What, what you guys think? The residents were sure they'd caught a glimpse of an angel, presumably peeking out from behind the clouds to stay out of view. But a few others suggested just could be the way the sunlight and winds are interacting. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, PVC, PVC creature. PVC creature? What? What does that supposed to mean? Passengers aboard a flight that set off from Denver noticed this peculiar plastic-like object floating just along them. They initially chalked it up to a sheet that might have gotten carried away by the wind. But within a few seconds, <laughs> it took a different direction and appeared to- Okay guys, we are like 30,000 feet, almost 35, maybe even 40. You know, just a sheet. You know, just, just a sheet, guys. Yeah, it, it flew up this- What? How? How do you- why? Like, what makes you think like a sheet would fly up to 30,000 feet, bro? Gravity exists? Yeah, okay, sure, like you can fly a couple meters, couple hundred meters, okay, let's just make it a thousand feet, right? But do you really think that it can get up to 30,000 feet? Unless it's a balloon and had some helium in it, okay, then yeah, that's a different- then we can- that's a different argument altogether, but like, a normal sheet, come on, dog, like- To turn completely flat, as if it was a flattened sheet- 
let's be real, man. Like, if they were to stage, like, an alien uh, invasion or something like that, they will succeed, guys. They really will succeed. Humans are dumb. Like, I'm, I'm sorry, like, but we are dumb. We really are dumb. Some of you might say, like, but, but yeah, but, like, we are not that dumb. Yeah, we're not that dumb, but we're, I guess, dumb enough to be able to believe the lies, right? So, yeah. I'm then sorry, but... metallic object zooming across the sky. If they were to do something like that, they're gonna succeed. Passengers you were know? quick to notice how it managed to keep airborne along them, and it even seemed to be tailing them. It could be another plane. But this one was departing at 30,000 feet. Yeah. And we all know how that works. Just a sheet, guys. Just a sheet. But guys, this was the last episode that we've done. If you love this, you're going to love this as well. Click on, click on this video on the screen and I'll see you right there. Check this out, guys.